Throughout his career, Michael Jordan humiliated his opponents. When some dared to trash talk him, he went completely crazy. One day, a Chicago rookie made the mistake of provoking the GOAT, and it ended very badly for him. Here's how a retired Michael Jordan destroyed an arrogant Bulls player. Corey Dwight Benjamin. Do you recognize this name? Personally, I've never heard of him. And there's a reason. He's the player Michael Jordan buried alive. But to understand the story, we need to take a step back in time. In 1998, MJ played his final season as if by magic. He won his sixth title with Chicago. The following year, the Jumpman retired definitively. Well, that's what everyone thought at the time. Because, yes, we haven't forgotten the games his heir displayed with the Wizards. Anyway, MJ's departure was a small tragedy, and the team quickly needed to rebuild. So, in the draft, the Bulls decided to bet on Corey Benjamin. The Oregon State shooting guard was the 28th draft pick, but the story between the two men started over a year later. In November 1999, Jordan watched a Bulls game against the Hawks, after which he decided to say hello to his old teammates in the locker room. And that's when Corey Benjamin said something he would live to regret. I'm disappointed you retired because I wanted to beat you one-on-one. -on -one. Well, I'll let you imagine what happened next. MJ took it personally. He was still very touchy because a week later, Jordan returned to Chicago to watch the Bulls in training. And at the end, he called over Corey Benjamin to tell him that it was time. I've already made it obvious how this story ends. MJ completely demolished his young opponent. But what really counted is another detail. The duel was filmed. So it's not just an urban legend you can see that Jordan is totally determined. Even if he pretended to be relaxed, he wanted to prove that he was untouchable. But above all, he wanted to prove to Benjamin that he was wrong for speaking. MJ brought out all his classics, fadeaway, step back, crossovers, and with every shot, swish. But that's not all. He didn't give the 21-year-old kid a chance. Corey was completely humiliated in front of his teammates. Ron Artest, Tony Kukoc, and Elton Brand were beside themselves with laughter. Corey Benjamin also smiled, but he was embarrassed. He'd provoked the GOAT and had been humiliated. And yet, he was 15 years younger than MJ. And the lesson was even more savage when Jordan let him know that he was a nobody. Because during the one versus one, he pointed out all the banners around the court. Six champion banners, each one by his airness. Words which further humiliated the young Bulls player. Because MJ was at home and he made his opponent understand that on that day. After the face-off, Corey Benjamin didn't go cry in a corner. He praised Jordan, showing him a lot of respect. Did he want to face him just to fulfill a dream? Or did he really think he could beat him? These questions will probably go unanswered. Two years later, Corey Benjamin left the NBA for abroad. Italy, France, China, Portugal. Many teams where he wasn't able to establish himself any better than in Chicago. His playing career never really took off because today, Corey Benjamin is not known as a basketball player. Nope, he's known for a very different reason. Being the victim of the most feared player in history who was retired.